it's Presley at ActiveGames.com here, and today is Science Sunday, and we're going to be opening a really cool Spangler, Cl Spangler Science Club kit. So if you guys don't know what a Spangler Science Club kit is, it's this really amazing kit, um, and it comes with a bunch of science things, and an instruction manual, one for adults that just says what's going on, and one for kids where you hypothesize and you go through the entire scientific method, and it shows you kind of what you need to do for the experiments and stuff like that, so that's really, really cool. As well as they started recently making videos to go in the in the instruction manuals, and you can watch the videos, and it will go step by step through the process in case you somehow messed it up while reading the instructions. And it's just super duper amazing. And as always, I'm only going to be showing you a couple of the really cool experiments that come in this one, and you'll have to buy the kit to do the rest. I'll, I assure you all of these are really awesome though. So this month's kit is all about sound. I actually did a gummy bear wave machine, which is similar to some of the experiments that are going to be in here, so there'll be a link on the end card and the doobly-doo to that. So let's play with some sound. Okay, so this kit starts you off with just this little spring, and it's going to teach you a little bit about how waves work. So if you guys don't already know, um, sound is just waves. So something will start vibrating, and then that will vibrate the air, the air molecules next to it, and then the air molecules next to it, and on and on and on until it hits your eardrum, and then your eardrum will vibrate, and that's all that hearing sound is. So you're going to be making some waves with the spring. So first there's, so first there's the transverse wave, which is just this. And it kind of teaches you how a faster wave is a higher pitch wave, and a bigger wave is a uh, louder wave. So what I just created there was probably a very high-pitched loud sound that would annoy a lot of people. Um, as well as there's something that's a little bit more accurate to sound, which is called a compression wave. So with this, instead of the wave going up and down, it goes side to side. So the kit does a really great job of explaining how waves work, and then the rest of the experiments are just taking something, vibrating it, and then kind of seeing how it turns into sound. So let's check a couple of these out. So you guys have probably seen these little tubes before that when you spin around it makes this really cool sound. Um, so what's happening here is the part that you spin is moving really fast and going spinning really fast and that's creating low pressure air. So the high pressure air down by my hand wants to flow into that and make the low pressure air high pressure as well. So it's flowing into this area and as it's flowing in it's moving quickly and through all these ridges and grooves and it's just kind of vibrating through there and it comes out the other end and it makes a really cool sound like this. So speaking of futuristic sounds, if you take the spring and you put it in between two solo cups, and all the solo cups really do is they amplify the sound, and you flick it, it makes a really cool futuristic sound. I bet a bunch of you recognize that, but it's like a sci-fi laser sound. Uh, you can do it, you can just kind of hold it and let it hang. Let me stop that from vibrating. Or you can put it in between your legs. make different sounds and it's really really cool. So if you want a, more, a little bit more of an old school sound effect then you can make a really cool old school horror movie sound with a nut, a wet string, and another solo cup. So you just tie the string to the, wa to the nut and then you put that in the cup and make sure the string can go through the nut and then make sure the string's wet and then you just pinch it and you move your finger down it. And it makes kind of like a door creaking horror movie sound which is really cool. So it's just your fingers making the string vibrate, which is making the cup vibrate, which is amplifying the sound, and then that hits your eardrums, and then that's how you hear it. This is a really, really cool experiment where you just take a bent coat hanger, you will tie two strings to it, you tie those strings to your fingers, and you hold that on, so the coat hanger will vibrate, and that will go up through the strings, which will go into your fingers, and then you'll plug your ears with your fingers, so it'll go into your ears, and then you just kind of vibrate this. Um, you could get someone else to do it for you with like a fork, um, or what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna bump it into the table, and it sounds really cool. It's like a church bell going off in your ears. It's really hard to explain, and I there's like no way you guys are gonna be able to hear it because the camera does not have ears that I can plug, but it's really cool, trust me. Um, um, you ha guys have to try this at home. It's amazing. And you probably just heard tink, but it sounds really cool if you plug your ears with it. 
so now there's this last experiment, the grand finale, which is really, really cool. There is this little uh, plastic kind of string, and on one side it's there are ridges, and on the other side it's smooth. And what you're supposed to do is you tape it to a cup, and you put it against your ear, and then you move your thumbnail, you use your thumbnail on one of the sides, the side of the ridges, and it should play out a, method, a message if you get the pace right. It takes a second to get the right pace. It will usually be like too fast or too slow or somewhere in between where you can kind of distinguish what it says, but it's not entirely right. <laughs> um, but the end message that you'll get is science is fun. So me figuring it out, um, it took like, first it was hello this is Steve, then hello this is Sam. The word science was turning into hello this is. And then it was, what does this say? And then finally, science is sick. And then science is fun. Um, because it does kind of sound like science is sick as well. And that kind of works for Steve Spangler because of like the whole sick science kind of stuff. So as always, I'll, we only showed you a couple of the experiments. There's a bunch more to do. And it's all really, really cool. I highly recommend getting the kit so you can try out the experiments. You can listen to this yourself, as well as you can do the gong thing, which is really cool, as well as the many, many other experiments. And you can learn a lot while doing these. They're really amazing. And if you're not subscribed to it already, please go do. So if you like what we're doing and you want to keep up with more science videos, then please, please subscribe. It really helps us out, as well as it helps us make better content. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.